Hello. Well, I just want to come on and give a, a Criterion Collection update of sorts. Um, I've done this before a little bit, where I've talked about some of the recent Criterion Collection titles I've gotten, and I would just like to do so again, because um, I would like to talk more about some of the films in the future that I've gotten that were released by Criterion. And so here I have the two I um, got, which uh, was from, um, I got a coupon for $10 off. Uh, when you would sign up for like the Criterion channel, their streaming service. You know, originally there was Filmstruck, but you know, now there's a great Criterion channel that's coming in, uh, I believe they said March, uh, March or April. Oh, now it was. I got, I got the email a month ago, and I announced that, and it took me, it took me a while to also try to narrow down what I would want. I, I knew I probably wouldn't be able to get a whole selection of films, and I mean I had ten dollars off of that, but there were some movies I just, I did want, and uh, I hadn't seen. But now the first one I want bring up is The Magnificent An Ambersons, uh, which was written, directed, produced, written, directed, produced, and narrated by Orson Welles. Um, there you go. Um, the, this film was actually initially released by the Criterion uh, way back when laser discs were, they were just, you know, doing the laser discs. And um, it's really cool that they uh, released this not too long ago. Um, I believe, yeah, it was last year. Um, and, and, you know, this is a great film. I watched it uh, yesterday. I got it. I got the films yesterday, but I thought they were going to be about like a week because I ordered them like Friday, about four to seven business days. So. You know, have like like within a week, like Thursday, Friday. Yeah, it was Friday. I ordered them, so I'm like at the earliest I thought it was gonna be Wednesday. But you know, uh, as I'm recording this now, uh, got a Monday, which was yesterday. So, um, and it, yeah, I do film these <laughs> in advance if you're wondering. But yeah, they uh, they do they did. Uh, they came Monday, so you know that was great. Uh, got the confirmation that they were shipped out uh, Saturday, but you know, from where Criterion is when they ship out films to, because uh, I live in Iowa, it takes about like four days at the earliest to a week. So you know, maybe Tuesday earliest, but I was thinking more of Wednesday. Maybe Thursday, but you know, yeah. And I did, I did watch this, and uh, it was really good. You know, I do want to. I haven't uh, watched the extras or listened to the commentaries, but um, I'll probably do that soon. Um, I kind of want to just to absorb the film and take it in and. I really enjoyed the film. I think it's it's really good. Um, hope to talk about this fairly soon. Um, later, uh, probably this year, they'll uh, have their 1,000th um, title released. Um, now, maybe there's more than a thousand films they released because you know there were um, some films released only on Laserdisc that has ne that have never gotten a DVD or Blu-ray treatment. Some have only been released on DVD and have not yet uh, gotten a Blu-ray release. But uh, some think maybe this year we could get Citizen Kane for the 1,000th release. That would be cool to also us, like a year later, after we've got his second feature film that he's he directed and also uh, 
was in who narrated the film. We get his first film, which was also the very first Criterion film. You know, sort of comes full circle in a sense. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this film. Think it was great. Hope to talk about this more soon. But um, until then, uh, yeah, that's just my brief little thought on it. I enjoyed it. And the other film I got is uh, Young Mr. Lincoln by director John Ford, starring Henry Fonda as Abraham Lincoln. And uh, I have not seen this film, but I've heard great things about it. Um, it was the first film Henry Fonda and John Ford ever worked on, uh, following Stagecoach. And, um, yeah... From what I read on the back and also inside, it seems like it's going to be about Abraham Lincoln before, you know, he became president. Which you don't really see much of uh, when it comes to films. You know, usually it's when he's president. Maybe just a little before he's president, but, you know, pre his presidency is really where they, they focus on. So, uh, I've... I've I've heard about this film over the years. I've been told by my grandparents that this is the best Abraham Lincoln film. Um, uh, the best film about him. Um, now, I I know that's a, probably a big statement uh, to be out there. But, you know, they, you know, they've... Uh, they know quite a bit about history, and I think a, a very good amount about uh, Abraham Lincoln. So I think I, I, I will just tr trust their judgment on this. Um, and yeah, right there, there is Lincoln by Steven Spielberg, um, which was a which was a fine film. Um, I didn't love it as much as other people did, but um, you know, uh, yeah. I think the performance is really the best part of that film. Uh, not saying Lincoln is a bad movie, but I like the performances uh, a bit more. Uh, particularly with Tommy Lee Jones, interestingly enough. I don't know. Uh, just a performance by Tommy Lee Jones I haven't really seen before. Um, you know, he, he just really gave it his all in that role, and he's really fantastic. You know, Daniel Day-Lewis was great, too, and um, so was um, Sally Fields. But, you know, this has Henry Fonda, Alice Brady, Marjorie Weaver, Arlene Whalen. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think this has a, a really great cast. After I watch this, I'm sure I'll also talk about it, hopefully soon. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give a little update. Um, I don't know if this will be a recurring thing uh, for me. Of uh, you know, got a new Criterion movie or Criterion movies. I'm gonna talk a bit about them. Uh, granted, whether I've seen them or not. Um, but yeah, uh, I've expressed my fondness for Criterion before, so I thought, why not again? Uh, so if you would like to hear me talk about either of these films, uh, stay tuned. I hope to do so soon. And uh, yeah, I hope you'll, uh, yeah, that's really it. I hope you'll all have a good day. Hope you all have a good weekend and a good week. Um, hope you have fun. And uh, I'll see you uh, all next time. Bye.